I would like to personally congratulate you on your decision to learn SolidWorks and its powerful parametric solid modeling tools. Now let's take a quick look at how you can make use of these training videos to assist you in harnessing the power of the tools that lie within SolidWorks work environment. Once the SolidWorks work environment has opened, you'll find all of your lessons at your fingertips in the design library. Simply select the design library and select the SolidWorks fundamentals by Insprotect folder. Within that folder, the fundamentals course will include 14 individual lessons, each taking approximately half an hour to view and another half hour to complete. Let's take a look at one of our example lessons. If we were to open our lesson on cut extrudes and construction geometry, we'll find within that lesson we have example files and exercise files, as well as starting point files for completing each of the examples and exercises. Let's go ahead and open example one. Once the example opens, you'll see that in our graphics area we have a completed model of our example one file. By selecting the design binder we can access a training video on the overview of the lesson four as well as an individual training video for our example one lesson. These training videos will launch in your media player of choice and the video can be paused throughout the process to assist you in completing the example and exercise. When it comes time to start new training files, you'll find that by activating the Advanced tab, Insprotect has installed a series of templates specially designed for inch and metric units of measurement, as well as custom drawing templates and assembly templates, again, to help you and guide you through the design process. During the lessons, Insprotech has added a series of keyboard shortcuts to again streamline your work done within the SolidWorks work environment. So I trust this set of introductory lessons will help you as a new user become proficient in harnessing the power of parametric solid modeling.